joining us now, newest member of the Colts. Yes, sir. Absolute stud. Yannick Ngakwe, how yeah. are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. God is good. Hey, I am so thankful you are here. Uh, there's been a lot of activity around you on the internet getting kind of, you know, baptized by the Colts community. Absolutely. This city loves you, dude. This place loves you. Now, obviously, you played for the Jags and you played other places. And, yep. I mean, Clontown did knock the Colts out of the playoffs last year, yeah. so people could hold that against you. But you are <laughs> beloved here. How has it been coming to the Colts and this far into your career? What's the mindset right now? At this I, I feel like it's home for me. You know, um, just like, you know, getting myself into the community, giving back, uh, giving back to kids that come from similar backgrounds as myself. You know, uh, helping out teachers, you know, that was the biggest part that of That was me. awesome, by the way. I appreciate that. That's the biggest part I retweeted part of that. I was hoping that you were going to have to spend, like, millions and millions of dollars. It was a lot of money, though. You spent, like, so much. The checklist, the teacher's checklist. Yeah, yep. He, he put out a tweet. He was like, hey, uh, just looking to help some teachers here before the school year starts. Can anybody send their Amazon wish list? Yeah. Uh, and I retweeted it, and it, <laughs> it did go. When, I mean, I, 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 I just happened to be a love. part of it. Not that I helped you. I'm just saying I watched the response, and I think he did it, you did it for everybody. I mean, this is. We're lucky to have you, dude. And I appreciate that so much. How do you like the team? And I love the team. You know, being back with my uh, former defensive coordinator, Gus Bradley, is just feels super familiar being in the scheme. And, you know, uh, also just the guys around me, DeForest, uh, all the way to the offensive side of the ball, Jonathan Taylor, Matt Ryan. These guys are people that, you know, are effective in games. And if we can bring everything together, we should definitely get back to the playoffs. d but what is it about Gus, man? Because I just walked around the building. I know – Former players that have played for Gus, and yep. everybody literally says defense the same coordinator thing. Gus Bradley, yeah, former Gus. head coach at the Jags. Okay. Yep. What is it about Gus, man? What I what I've seen with Gus is I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly as far as as a team. So I've seen how his character is when we lose, and he doesn't blame mm -hmm. any player; he blames himself. And I've seen his character when we're in, on a winning streak, and he doesn't take the credit; he gives it to the player. So to find somebody that has an equal balance like that is hard to find in this league, and. He, he never points the finger, and that's the per person you want to run through a brick wall for. Yeah. Ty. Yannick, obviously, you know. You Are we saying your name right? Oh, yeah, Yannick. Yannick and Yannick. Godway. Yep. Yannick. We didn't want to be the whites. You know? No, no right. yeah. you good. You good. <laughs> you good. <laughs> yeah, 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 we said it five different ways <laughs> as the show mm -hmm. is starting, and I didn't know. Yannick and Godway. Yes. Unique. It's a fucking great name. Appreciate yeah. that. It's a unique. Thank you so much. Oh, it is. Yannick, it's a great name. It's, it's Hebrew. It's Hebrew. Really? Okay. Yeah, it means God is gracious. So are wow. you, dude, for telling us that. <laughs> that. Yeah. Coming yeah. from the Raiders, and obviously it's a little bit easier when, you know, the Colts, you know, they're kind of built to win right now. But how much of a culture shock is that going from Vegas to the middle of, you know, I mean, not middle of nowhere because Indianapolis isn't a small, small city, but smack dab in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like how, how is there much of a culture shock there or not really? I wouldn't say not really. You know, um, at the end of the day, uh, uh, we're here to do a job. But one thing, like I, tell, I told Pat, like I love the city, you know, everything about it. And uh in particular, in this organization, there's no egos. You know, everybody has a family feel, a family vibe, and uh, that's what I love about it. You know, uh, we're brothers. You know, we treat everybody with respect here, with love, and uh, that's why I love being in blue and white. What do you think about David Thornton? Okay, guy? DT? I love DT. Okay, all right. Listen, uh, we were talking about him earlier. I, I know. I was hoping, you know, everybody has said something positive about him. Absolutely. I think he has that type of rapport with everybody. Didn't know if maybe he pissed you off early. Uh, that would have been Never a great did. Story. Never did. He, he reminds me a lot of Marcus Parlow. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that name. Yes. Um, 31. Yeah. Is that play, number he wore, I think? No, nah, he was a tight end. Bernard. Bernard. What do you think about Bernard? Probably? Yeah, Marcus uh, Parlow. He played here, you know, uh, I think uh, back somewhere in the uh, 90s or 2000s, early 2000s. And uh, he kind of grew, groomed up DT to be who he is today. And those two guys are great people. Massive. When you talk about the organization, we had we just had Jim Irsay on here. Okay. He's talking about, you know, the expectations and why and everything. You feel that whenever you walk in the building, obviously? I mean, Ty just kind of has it built to win right now. But honestly, like, last year was devastating to this program, this franchise. Now, new quarterback, new energy, kind of a new era new chapter vibe but that lingering of like hey are we because the afc is fucking stacked Loaded. right now that Absolutely. lingering are we gonna go is around everywhere and jim mercy's like yeah we are gonna go it feels like everybody knows this is a year we gotta go is that kind of in the building or is it just like expected no absolutely that's the standard that's what we preach every day in unit meetings special teams and team meetings we preach about the standard about finishing games and finishing uh to try to get wins you know what i mean and last year you know i wasn't here but a uh, few more plays, you know, we're in the playoffs. So yeah. we have to execute. We have to make sure that we do the little things better than the other team. Connor, your question? Short yeah, guy you, know, you just kind of mentioned respect in an organization, but uh, you were in Jacksonville when 25. What's up with the hat, though, bro? Oh, go Whoa. Patriots. What are you this talking about? Sucks, yeah. Go Pats. <laughs> I was going to wear a Mac Jones jersey, but I decided not to. I, I was this close. Listen, this guy. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. I understand good football. Thank you for saying that, Pat. <laughs> uh, but when you were in Jacksonville, twenty five percent of the complaints were coming from that organization till the NFLPA. Was that as much of a firestorm as it kind of sounded like? And how much better is it being in a place here where everything everybody seems to be on the same page? You know, I'm just super like thankful for uh, Jacksonville for giving me an opportunity, drafting me. You know, that's where I started off my career and uh, was able to, you know, uh, get a name. And uh, you know, things happen. Uh, uh, not everything lasts forever. Uh, like I said, I'm super appreciative of everything that happened but you know I'm a Colt now uh, best of luck to those guys you know the people that are still that's over right, there that's that right I know here. you right know right what I mean right. so at the end of the day Nothing but love this way. Hey, why'd that guy just try to put you? He tried to put you in a spot. No, right no yeah. way. Yeah. What are you That's talking about? That's not what this show is about. It's your first time. That's not what this show is about. It's all right. It's all right. I'll get give him. him a pass. I'll give him a pass. Yeah, well. Sweet. Don't do it. What do you think this thing? <laughs> no, you can slap him in the mouth. <laughs> what do you think this defense? What do you think you're out of this defense? Because I think getting to the quarterback is a big deal. Like, I think a couple more plays being made is a big deal. DeForest Buckner is. Grove is. Shaq yeah. is Kenny Moore is Stephon Gilmore. It, it feels like that defense is just absolutely loaded. Absolutely. What has everybody been saying? Like why they're excited you're here? I know Quiddy's young guy. Obviously, he's going to continue to grow. But whenever you got here, what was the conversation? What like your teammates were looking for? You know, um, I'm here to be a servant leader. You know, serve the young guys, serve the older guys, and uh, also to get to the quarterback. We haven't had a guy, you know, dominant. And no disrespect of anybody that's came before me. We haven't got, have two guys dominant since Mathis and uh, Freeney. And uh, I'm still young. I'm 27 years old. Just turned 27 in March. Happy birthday. Thank Happy birthday. So we Appreciate missed, that. We Appreciate missed a lot that. of your birthdays. Right. It's all so, good. So I feel like I got a lot of football left in me, and I would just want to, you know, make my energy contagious around the whole building. You talk to Mathis at all? Oh, yeah. We definitely have been texting. Uh, and uh, before week one, we'll get together and break down some tackles. Yeah. Here we go. Who's uh, – uh, you don't give that away. What do you feel good about? You still working at things at 27? You still working on building more, uh, more rushes, more game plan, more chess game? Maybe what is? What do you think you continue to evolve at at this uh, stage? You know, one thing that Gus always talks about is you never got it. You know, when you say you got it, it's never true. So I always try to work on the little things, even the things that I'm still good at, the chop, the get off, things of that nature. I try to work on every little thing and. Um, when I'm done with this game, that's when I'll have it. But right now, I'm still I'm still trying to be a yeah. student of the game, still trying to learn and absorb things from all, all of my coaches. Guy Darius? Beginner's mentality. I like it. But uh, obviously, uh, the Lions, one of their strengths is the offensive lines. Like, what what what's your thing? going When you go into a game, like, even joint practices, like, what do you get out of preseason? A lot of people in the media talk about how pre- yes, we don't need it. We had the COVID year. We didn't really have it. What does a vet like you get out of preseason joint practices and maybe even the preseason games? Absolutely, Darius. Like, you just treat it like a game week. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a perfect week to just prepare like it's week one, like it's a real game. I'm um, going against uh, Taylor Decker. We've been battling since I was at the University of Maryland. He was at Ohio State. So just, you know, going back to, you know, even old tape back at Maryland to see what kind of things I did to defeat his set, his uh, hands. He's a low hand setter, angle setter. And you're, setter. Treating, you're treating practice like that right now? You're absolutely. Looking back. Abs- yeah, absolutely. This is preparation for week one. Man, I'm happy you're on our team. I, I am happy. Now, we didn't get to see your side. You guys are down there, I think, with the Lions offense. You guys are down there. Okay. And this is not your team saying this. This is us saying it merely as spectators. Right. The Colts beat the fuck out of the Lions on this side. How'd you guys do down there? You did pretty good? I think we did really well, you know, especially that competition during one-on-one period. Like, we, we showed up today as a defensive line. So did you guys get gassed up for today? Felt like Matt Ryan, I think he only had two incompletions the entire day. Felt okay. like everybody was going to get it. It felt like, was today being chatted about like, hey, let's go. Because Buffalo, the game, I mean, it wasn't fun, obviously, for anybody to watch. But you can't really get much out of it. Felt like not a lot of starters played. So will the game be like differently? Today, though, it felt like there was a little bit of more of an energy. You guys treated as such? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. We've been battling each other as a team for like two and a half weeks now. So we, we're ready to just... You know, face another color jersey and be able to just, you know, well, similar uh, technically. Color. Yeah, kind well, of similar. same scheme. Uh, it's a different blue. <laughs> and gray, yeah. you know, the whole thing. Well, yeah. I can't wait to watch you this season. Appreciate you. Um, we got a suite for the games. Okay. Not for free. Had to pay for it. <laughs> All right. A lot of money. A lot of, yeah. A lot of money. It's right down next to uh, an end zone, though. Okay. Can't wait to see some sort of strip sack touchdown thing yeah. right in front of us. Can't wait to watch Appreciate you work that. out. Honestly, we are very lucky you're on the team. Yes, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good luck the rest of the way. Yes, Ladies sir. and gentlemen, Yannick Ngakwe. Yeah. yeah. All right. As we kind of pivot forward here, uh, Yannick, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Man. What a badass. He's watching film for yeah. fucking yeah. joint practice. Oh. Right. Darius, you ain't never did that. Lazy ass. Yeah.